Greetings, I'm Paul Bright, Director of Art Galleries and Programming. We are in the Haynes Gallery for the virtualized opening, regretfully without the crowded reception we usually have, of the 2021 WFU Student Art Exhibition, the COVID year version. Last year, for the first time, I believe, uh, we were not able to have the student show. So while this is something of a hybrid, at least we were having a show. And it has been open to the campus community to actually come and see since April 23rd with all the COVID gathering size caveats. After May 1st, it will be open to the larger community as well with those same capacity, masking and distancing restrictions that we've all grown so used to. But that's some real progress after the past year. Congratulations faculty and especially students for surviving the year and still managing to create engaging work not just under the circumstances, but really without COVID qualifications. Thank you. You'll be hearing from Katie Wolf, Haynes Assistant Director and Primary Organizer of the Student Show, who will announce gallery prize winners. And from Jennifer Finkel, Curator of Collections, who will talk about the Student Art Collection, and Professor David Finn, the Art Department Chair, who will talk about the Purchase Awards and Honors and Art Candidates. I also want to note that the works purchased for the Student Art Collection from this exhibition will be exhibited at START, our student gallery in Renola Village in the fall, under the guidance of Riley Phillips, our incoming gallery manager. The student show will be up through graduation. We hope to see you in the Haynes Gallery very soon. Thank you. My name is Katie Wolf, and I'm the assistant director of the Haynes Gallery. I also organize and lead the student art exhibition each spring. I'm especially proud of this exhibition after more than a year of COVID on campus. Despite all of the challenges and uncertainty this year, we were able to have a robust student art exhibition thanks to the work of the Wake Forest Student Art Department faculty and students dedicated to Wake the Arts on campus. This exhibition celebrates works by 44 students from 16 different academic departments, representing all four class levels. The gallery is happy to offer this year's Haynes Art Gallery Awards to Catherine Nip for the Fine Point Ink Pen Drawing Blind Contour Study, Anna Burkhart for the Triptych Painting July 24th, 2003, to October 16th, 2018. Yunki Ying for the photographic salt print, Han Han Anna. Quinn Vu for the lino cut print. These kind of look like noodles, haha. -ha. James Furman for the charcoal drawing figure study two. Sabrina Bacalis for the handmade photographic book, A Bridge Between Past and Present. And each year we always award one specific Haynes Gallery Award to a promising first year student. And this year that is Abby Wade for the graphite drawing Untitled Three. Congratulations to all the students exhibited this year and we hope to see you in the gallery very soon. Hi, I'm Jennifer Finkel, the Acavello Curator of Collections at Wake Forest University. Each year, the Office of University Art Collections purchases student art for the University Art Collection from the annual juried student art exhibition that's held each spring in the Charlotte and Philip Haynes Art Gallery. Established in 1993, the John P. Anderson Collection of Student Art recognizes artistic achievement of the university student artists, including art majors and art honors program participants. This collection has grown to include over 400 works of art representing a variety of media. John Anderson was vice president for finance and administration at Wake Forest, and after he retired, he began a second career uh, in the counseling department. Also, during his two decades at Wake Forest, John Anderson was the university's chief planner. He oversaw major expansions through our campus, um, and he set aside funds each year for the purchase of student art. So it's fitting that this fund, named after him for student art, activates spaces around our campus that he helped to grow and develop. Wake Forest is a campus that lives with art. We have art in more than 40 of our administrative and academic buildings. 
So art can be an intervention in your daily life, whether you're going to study, or you're going to the library, you're going to get a cup of coffee or the copy center. Um, art can provide levity, it can uplift, it can challenge us to experience dis different points of view. So we are so excited to be adding more student art to our Wake Forest art collection. Thank you. Hi, I'm David Finn, professor and chair of the art department, and I want to welcome you to our 2021 Ames Gallery student exhibition. You know, it's been kind of a weird year in the art department at Wake Forest, to say the least. If you were on campus in the fall, you probably tiptoed into class, not sure of what to expect. Like, there was your professor wiping down the tools, or fussing with a microphone, or trying to figure out how to teach students half a world away. Well, the props went to school with professors Nikki Moore for the art historians and Jennifer Gentry in the studio to learn how to teach remotely, or at least with six feet between us, all of us for the first time, and thanks in large part to them and our terrific staff, we did pretty well. But at the time, we all wondered how we were ever going to make it through a whole class, breathing and talking through a mask. As this show attests, we didn't stop making art in the pandemic, and although it was easier for some of us with a bit more time to ourselves, it was also a year of extreme news that made us uneasy and anxious, and that too is reflected in some of the art in this show. So we did it all with some ups and downs along the way, true, but nobody died, and it looks like we're all going to have an actual graduation ceremony, so wahoo! We have five candidates for honors this year in our history. In, this year. In art history, Lynn Hufford, and in studio art, Rhythm Vidal, Mikey Matone, Christina Mulkenthin, and Riley Phillips. Stark Gallery has had shows this year from James Furman and Riley Phillips, and Riley will be the new manager at Stark Gallery starting on July 1st. In closing, I want to congratulate all the students who entered the show and to all of our 2021 graduates. It's all upward from here. Thank you very much. I'd like to announce the um, 2021 awards for the John P. Anderson Student Art Collection um, from the, uh, the show in the Haynes Gallery. This is very exciting to be able to announce these to you. Kayla Boskertian is uh, her work Boot with Berries, actually it's called Still Life Boot with Berries, Oil on Canvas was selected. Lucy Chapman's Untitled Mixed Media. Sky Chen, Man with a Stick, which is charcoal on paper. John Farrell, A Bouquet of Flowers, Oil on Canvas. Sue Kamara, Untitled, Night, which is a linocut. Iris Liu, digital photo called Iris. And Maggie Mann has a sculpture that we are selecting called Sharply Dressed. Quinn Vu's Untitled, which is a colored pencil and paper, was also selected. S.J. Willis had a cyanotype, untitled number 333. Congratulations to all those artists in the show. We also want to mention that we have um, some work from our honor students that has yet to be um, selected from their shows, Mikey Matone, Christina Malkin-Thin, Riley Phillips, 